Hi guys, so I wanted to do an outfit of the week video and I was totally, totally inspired by Hello October's recent outfit of the week video. It was just so personal. She was just explaining things in her room, casual, chit chatting like we were just hanging out with her. And I love, love, love those kinds of videos. And a few of you guys DM'd me the link to her video and you guys were like, please, can you do stuff like this? And I thought that that was a fantastic idea. I know there's so many outfit of the week videos out there and I've done several myself but this time it's gonna be a little bit different and it was very inspired by her so credit needs to be given where credit is due and also thank you to you guys for you know letting me know about that video and if you happen to be new here welcome my name is Lisa and everyone calls me Elle for short I post a ton of fashion videos everything from the very affordable end of it to the luxury end of it and if you do like videos like that then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be notified every time that I upload a video. I also have an Instagram and a Snapchat. My Instagram is where you can pretty much see everything that I talk about here on my YouTube channel come to life and how I style things. So check it out if you haven't already. All right, so since today is technically Tuesday, I'm gonna just rewind and talk about my outfit from Monday. I was so obsessed with this look and all of you guys went crazy on Instagram. So I'll insert a picture of how it looks completely together, but first let me show you the pieces. So it was this vest from Topshop which I got from Nordstrom on sale originally this vest is a hundred dollars and I got it for I think I think $59 so it was a good sale price and I just wore it with this simple black cotton midi from forever 21 this thing is so old this is one of those really good basics that you just end up pulling out year after year season after season i wear this in the fall time too with over the knee boots and like kimonos or blazer jackets leather jackets all of that it's just one of my favorite midis because the neck is kind of high it's just very classic and simple so i wore that underneath this with this and this thing is just it's so beautifully made and Honestly, I would have gotten this for 100 bucks. I haven't seen it. I've never saw it. I was at Nordstrom that Sunday with my boyfriend picking up his little sister's birthday gift and we were just walking around and I saw this and of course he was like, we are not shopping for you and I was like, oh well. So I ended up getting this and I just love it. So I got it that Sunday and then ended up wearing it yesterday, literally the day after. I see myself wearing this multiple different ways. This is another really good sort of staple piece. I think it's just going to be timeless and it's just going to always be relevant. It's very Balmain, uh, you know, esque inspired with, you know, the gold hardware buttons and all of that. And you guys know, I love that look. So I wore that with these cuties right here. These are new little Oxfords. They are patent. I got these from Nordstrom Rack and they're by Luis Etsy, which I think is a sister company to Vince Camuto, which I just learned about recently when I went to research these on NordstromRack.com. I wanted to see if they had any other colors. I was going to buy them and they do. They have a nude one and I'm like, I don't know if I like that exact shade of nude, so I'm kind of hesitant, but they do have, they were sold out of these, but they do have the newer version that has a little gold button right here. It's like a very small little added detail on Nordstrom.com, which was part of the anniversary sale. Unfortunately, by the time this video goes up, I think it's going to be over, but I love these. I've worn them now three or four times. They're so stinking comfortable, and I'm not one to really like patent shoes, to be honest with you. It's just not very me. But then if you think about it, I'm so casual. The patent helps lift up any like casual look. So it looks super cute with denim skirts, ripped up jeans. You guys know how I dress, but I just love these. And I got so many compliments um, on these. And they were at Nordstrom Rack, I think these were $65. And then at Nordstrom, full price, I think they're a hundred and something. So hopefully you guys can get them on the sale or maybe you guys could find them at your local Nordstrom Rack because that day when I bought these they weren't available online but I found them in the store so I love these so I will just put a picture on the screen here from Instagram of the entire look and I did wear that day my new Teddy Blake uh, Eva bag this is the 11 inch the Stampato with the silver hardware and the black grained leather I've been loving this so spoiler alert if that video hasn't gone up yet I'm slightly obsessed really really obsessed this is my fifth day wearing it in a row and i feel like there's no absolute no reason for me to change out of it i'm just so comfortable so, so that is what i wore yesterday 
And now, going on to Tuesday, what I'm wearing today, I'm also wearing this today, so I will switch the camera around so you guys could see what I'm wearing. Okay, so now it's Tuesday's outfit, and I'm wearing this t-shirt that I got picked up from Marshalls a week ago, and it was $10, $10. I'm obsessed with the ruffle detailing on the sleeves and all of this, you know, distressing, the whole distressing on it. I've just ran errands today. I went to go get my nails done. My acrylics are back. I feel like myself again. I feel I feel sort of like bad because I've been trying so hard to not get acrylics, but I just I just love them. They make my hands not look like boy hands, you know, so much anymore. And I meant to get a more baby baby pink, but I'm kind of glad it was turned out to be this like hot melony color. On the thing, it was baby pink, but oh well, whatever. And then I'm also wearing my Gucci belt tucked into my black Topshop denim skirt. And then of course with the trusty pedicure sandals that I picked up from Target that are very Valentino-esque. Love these, they're super easy to, you know, go get pedicures in and, and then you still look pulled together versus, you know, just some cheap rubber flip-flops. So that is what I'm wearing today. And obviously, can't forget the bag. I've just been loving this bag sort of just like this. It's so easy and convenient to grab your phone right here in the front pocket or your lip gloss. Sorry that my mirror is dirty. I feel like I've cleaned it like a million times. It's so annoying because any piece of dust on the mirror looks doubled because it's reflecting the dust too. So I hope that makes sense. So annoying. Drives me insane. But uh, yeah, I've been loving this and this is my run around day off errand outfit on a Tuesday, so see you tomorrow. Okay, so it's Wednesday today. I'm keeping my makeup super, super simple. I'm literally just wearing a tiny bit of concealer, bronzer, slight highlight, touched up my eyebrows, nothing on my lips. Really, really simple. I just do not feel like dealing with it. My hair is still drying. This is what I do with my hair. Oh, let me show you guys what I do with my hair when I wear it curly. I get so many questions. So um, I washed it. <laughs> obviously and then I put um, right when I get out of the shower I put this in it and this is the Lange Sorbet Botanical sm Smoothing Balm and it smells so good this I actually take with me um, wherever I go that day if my hair is curly to touch up frizziness so this is just gonna go inside my never full in the disgustingly <laughs> packed pouch I never clean out that bag and then I drench my hair in this stuff this stuff is so cheap and so good it's the suave honey infusion 10 in 1 leave-in conditioning cream my hair needs something thick like this because of my hair texture so it's pretty much the thickness of like an actual conditioner that you would wash your hair out with but I love this stuff I drench like drench especially the first day that I wash it and then for the next few days with me wearing my hair curly I just either re-wet it in the shower or I rinse more conditioner through it and then after three days is when I wash it again with shampoo and then whatever I decide whether I'm going to blow it out or wear it curly so that's what I do and people with curly hair I'm pretty sure you know this trick when you are letting your hair dry the trick is not touching it to disturb the curls so you don't want them to like separate and get frizzy and then once it's like kind of like at this sort of drying stage i spray in this which is the lange hair marula oil this smells so good it's like pretty much three quarters gone i am obsessed i spray this in my hair when my hair is you know when i'm wearing it blown out and all of that just to touch it up through like the second the third day and it makes it super shiny i feel like this is what's keeping my hair look super super shiny i've been getting so many comments about that now, those two things basically stay at home when I, uh, you know, go out and about with my hair curly. So today, I am wearing just my usual necklace. This is my hand stack today. Uh, I added my little signet ring from Nordstrom. Look, it's so beat up already and tarnishing. Well, it's cheap, so that's what's going to happen. And then my Balenciaga bracelet and my L&M cuff. And let me turn the camera around. And for my outfit, I literally, I'm probably just going to throw this denim jacket in my Neverfull. It's already kind of hot, but it gets so freaking cold at work. This midi, not midi, this is like an ankle length, really simple, I don't even know, it's not cotton. It's like a, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a really simple v-neck dress from Old Navy. It's so old, I just, whatever, sometimes I throw it on when I'm being lazy. And then I'm wearing my comfy, comfy Ash Poison sandals. And yeah, just keeping it super, super simple and comfy today. And and then for my earrings, I didn't show you guys. These are just extremely simple little 
not real diamond studs. So yeah, that is Wednesday. Nothing exciting. I'm taking my Neverfull today because I have a lot of work to do on my laptop and you know, so this guy is just my trusty bag and I'm not using a small bag in this bag. Oh, and oh my God, today I think my Chanel bag arrived. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys when I get it. I secretly like am using this as a bag and you know, taking all my work stuff in here because I kind of know that my Chanel bag is coming. So all of my stuff that I usually keep in a bag is in my Neverfull right now. So I want to like put all of that stuff in the Chanel bag. So uh, I'm really excited. See you tomorrow. Right. So it is now, what's today? Thursday. And it is Mishy's birthday. And I'm super excited because we are going to go, she wants to go shopping and look for an outfit for tonight. What we're doing tonight, I don't know. So just really quickly, let's ignore the, the t-shirt turban. Sometimes when I am, you know, drying my curly hair, drying it with a t-shirt helps reduce the frizz. So let's ignore that, that that's going to come down very, very soon. I'm just wearing a Forever 21 bodysuit that has like a little bit of like a v-neck thing going on, which I have safety pinned a little bit right here because it's otherwise a little too revealing, especially for the daytime. And then I'm also wearing my Ashley Madison jeans that are super, super ripped up and my Vans slides, of course. Uh, these are like my go-to slip on when I just wanna be comfy. So this is just my outfit for the day. I don't know what we're doing tonight exactly for her birthday, but I am bringing a couple options um, with me to show you guys. And then on my you know, neck, I'm wearing my West Coast necklace, which it looks backwards but it's not because I was in the mirror. Um, West Coast necklace and my evil eye necklace that you guys have heard me talk about before. So I had to, had to clean my camera. The lens was really dirty. And then, oh, sorry about not talking about the lariat that I was wearing. Was it yesterday or the day before? Maybe yesterday. That was um, from Nordstrom Rack. I, when I played back the footage, I was like, why didn't you talk about that necklace? And then on my hand, I just have a very simple stack, my HRH chain ring and the rose gold diamond ring with my L&M cuff and my Amazon locket cuff. Just like really quick go-to um, jewelry. And then what else? Oh, and then I also want to show you guys my Chanel handbag that I got recently, which let me show you guys that quickly. And then I'll share with you guys what I uh, packed or what I'm packing, taking with me for the day, which, oh, my never feels so heavy, which potentially could be my outfit for later. So in this box is a very sad, I don't even know what to call this. I guess this is a reveal, a reveal fail. I'm so upset. So I had gotten this bag from luxury garage sale and the price was really good. It was still kind of high. And I took the, you know, flaws and wear and tear into consideration so that if I wanted to send it to the leather surgeons, which I've sent them photos of the bag, even now with the extra problems that this bag has that was not listed on the listing, which I'm so upset about. So it's going back because the price point to get, you know, the issues fixed didn't really match like I might as well just go get one that is in really good condition do you know what I mean so I'm just really upset because this year um that this one is which I'm not too picky with this bag but I love the lock on this one so I'm sure you guys a lot of you guys guessed which one I had um got oh god it smells so bad I'm so upset it just smells really bad which was not listed uh they usually list if bags have an odor and they're usually really good about that every time that, you know, I browse through their website. But this one has like a cigarette, musty, mothball, satin closet smell. So, yeah. Um, so that was something that, again, I would have had to add to the price for the leather surgeons to sort of really, you know, fix. So as you could see, this is, you know, bowing here. And there's a really a lot of bowing on this side or I don't know if that's what it's called but you could see that it's not like this side where it has a little bit more structure which this is still a little bit warped and then what was listed that I was aware of was you know this white mark here and just a couple marks basically 
the way it looks physically with the bowing and then the couple marks were the only thing that was listed so the bad smell and then i'll show you what else wasn't listed um but then this was also listed the mark of this little purple thing which some love marks don't bother me like i honestly wouldn't have really cared too much about those purple marks it was the smell and then these two problems that were not listed that i was just like ugh, really I'm so mad but you know you win some you lose some i'm not that upset um so you could see can you see that the second flap is completely disconnected from the top flap and then all of this inside is just like exposed so basically the side of the bag is also disconnecting from the flap and then on the other side you could see that this what is this called this stitch is like basically you could see that there you go see it's completely coming undone so those issues with the bag really put me off and that's fine and there's a certain price point that I think this bag would have been worth it at you know with this sort of wear and tear but it was not the price point that I got it for so I hope that you know makes sense so I'm kind of sad but it's okay I mean they were really really nice and understanding they were actually so like shocked that the things that I found and sent them pictures of they were like you know I have no idea why that wasn't listed so they were really understanding I'm really appreciative of that but I'm really sad look how cute this size is I ended up getting well I wanted this size prior to the rectangular mini so that probably makes so much more sense to you guys why the mini didn't do it for me it's because I just really wanted this one originally and I love you know, you guys know I have a weakness for the four grommets the fact that you can adjust the straps I think it's super cool how this is this is not a normal crossbody length for anybody else that likes longer crossbody bags but I think that looks super cool when you're wearing like a short one which I kind of talked about in the Teddy Blake handbag impressions video I did but overall um yeah I would say if this bag was maybe $700 less than I paid for it then maybe I would have kept it because that's pretty much what the leather surgeons were going to charge me <laughs> to fix it so I was just sort of put off and that's okay it's gonna go back oh god my never full is just always way too heavy so um for tonight just in case if we do anything jazzy I'm going to I'm going to bring this little dress that has you know a little bit of lace paneling right here and I think it's super cute and lightweight and then I was just going to throw on my trusty ash sandals I feel like these make an outfit completely and then today and tonight I was going to carry this as well so I love this I love that this has a little bit more of a masculine touch you know with definitely the more feminine stuff but of course today it looks super chill and then just in case I were doing something really really chill I was going to actually just take off the bodysuit and throw on um this Reebok tee with the jeans that I'm wearing and wear either the slides that I'm wearing or my checkered van slip-on sneakers and then I'm also taking for a jacket which I picked up last summer. I'm so obsessed with this jacket. It is a faux suede, like olive green, really soft. You could see it's like basically like a, I don't know, like a spandexy cotton material. Um, olive green moto jacket, which looks really cute actually with the outfit that I'm wearing now. And this will look cute on the black dress with, you know, the sandals, the backpack, all that. So that is what I am wearing today. So, anyways, so that is it. I will see you guys a little bit later. If I end up taking any pictures of me wearing anything else that I wore today, then I'll put it on my Instagram or put them here. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it is Friday, and I am in a very comfy, lazy outfit. Now, it looks like I put in effort, which is what I love about like just an average sundress, but I am so exhausted. I barely slept last night, and this is completely lazy day hair situation and I just felt like not really putting in too much effort so I put on a tiny bit of makeup and threw on this chambray chambray I'm not really quite sure how to pronounce it correctly um, denim dress from Old Navy which is kind of unflattering because I you know it I have a big chest so it like pushes out and it like doesn't show my waist which is fine, but I'm in such like a loosey, goosey, comfy outfit mood that whatever. And it's wrinkled, but I did iron it this morning, and then it wrinkled again when I sat down to do my makeup. 
in the bathroom. So that is just really annoying. And then on my feet, I am wearing the Jessica Berman Chloe Susanna dupes. And I've just been loving them. I, I personally love, you know, the contrast. You guys know, I don't even have to explain. I love a dress. I love boots with studs and all that. And I'm also wearing my Palm Springs backpack today. I wore it yesterday and I just can't be bothered to change it out. I was actually going to switch into my uh, Teddy Blake handbag, but I just, again, love how this dress looks with something a little bit more tomboy. I don't know if you can see my full outfit. Tomboy sort of situation. And let me show you my jewelry really quick. How obsessively cute are these earrings? They're little tiny happy face studs. These are from Forever 21. What I love is that they look like just average little gold circles and you get closer to a little happy face to just make me happy. <laughs> and then my West Coast necklace with um, this bracelet, so sick. My boyfriend's mom gave it to me. This is from House of Harlow. Just wanted to keep it simple. And then just these two little rings, HRH collection, and then just a rose gold and diamond band. And then the usual, um, what is this called? Uh, Mystic Fire Topaz ring. Oh my god, the, the wrinkles in this dress is driving me nuts. No point in ironing it again because I have to sit in the car now in traffic to get to work, so that's annoying. Really quickly, I want to touch a little bit on the Teddy Blake handbag video situation. So many of you guys are messaging me saying there's so much hate on my comments, which you guys, look. Look, everyone is entitled to their opinion. Everyone is, I'm open to, you know, constructive criticism and I do not tolerate cyberbullying, especially to my subbies. Like my subbies writing really sweet comments on my videos, regardless of whatever it is. And then the trolls come in and like write something mean. I just, I, it's so mind blowing to me that someone could literally take the time to waste their day to type out something mean to make themselves feel better. Like how horrible is your life that you want to do that to try to make yourself feel better about hurting someone? Like it's just, it's so mind blowing to me. And with the whole Teddy Blake handbag situation, I know there's a lot of controversy around certain items in the luxury market that might be a dupe or inspired or whatever it is. Teddy Blake is not claiming to be anyone but Teddy Blake. And the reason why I'm defending this company so much or just any company in you know general that does stuff like this even like the Jessica Berman boot like I'm a luxury lover I do have luxury items this is not a luxury channel um but I talk about them here on my channel I'm extremely extremely knowledgeable in this whole entire industry so the facts that people were telling me were so what they thought were facts sorry let me rephrase that what the you know the so-called facts that they were like trying to spit at me on the comments were just so disgusting and appalling because what's just funny I'm just picturing them sitting there on their laptop typing all these negative things about things that might be inspired or look like things while they're probably sitting in an entire outfit that is completely inspired by another designer and they're unaware of it like how ignorant do you have to be open your mind people it's 2017 this is the fashion world as it is and things are complained completely changing in the retail market now because of online because of everything just the movement and the economy especially just all of that just I just it's just so it's just very mind-blowing and if somebody likes something whether they're aware of something being being inspired or not they like it why are you getting mad at them why is it so offensive to you on what they spend their money on it's nuts. And also, too, I get hate, too, on my luxury, you know, video videos, like, how could you spend that kind of money on something and blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's just stop the trolling, people. It's so ridiculous. You're wasting your time. You're going to get blocked. Your comment is going to get removed and all of that. So it's really kind of dumb. My biggest thing is that, that, that those people that troll on the inspired version videos don't realize that the really big fashion houses that they so call like think are like amazing which I'm not saying they aren't are inspired by other fashion houses like um hello like the the bag that you're supposedly bashing is supposedly you know the original designer is Hermes and all of that now you guys got to look into that a little bit deeper before you spit facts at me so um let's just <laughs> I'll get along here people and you know you don't have to watch my channel if you know I don't talk about full luxury if you don't want to I don't care I don't I won't get offended the true people that watch my channel and actually care with what care about what I'm saying whether it's 10 5 500 people I don't really care those are the people I'm talking to 
So yeah, anyways, enough with that little bit of a rant. I don't mean to give trolls any sort of time of day. That's probably all I'm gonna ever say, but this is my outfit <laughs> for Friday. And I don't know if I'm gonna end the video here or tomorrow. I'm not really quite sure. I do wanna have a, you know, something up for you by the end of this week. So this might be over today. And if it happens to be, Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I love all of you guys. I love all the positivity. I have to give light to the positivity because that is what I should be, you know, holding on to because there's way more positivity than there is negativity. And I love you guys for that. So anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.